Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, TireRack.com, and RockAuto.com. Most SUVs sold today never see real dirt. But there are those folks who believe that a 4x4 looks best when it's covered with mud. And a lot of those folks are naturally Jeep owners. But where can Jeep fans go for real off-road fun? Well, our friends at Jeep have the answer and recently invited FYI reporter Jennifer Kaznabas to come out and play. For many kids, summertime means camp time. But nine years ago, Jeep decided that camp is no longer just for kids anymore. Come on, come on. Very good, Kate. No breaks on the other side, so they coast on down. All right. Super Woo. job. Welcome to Camp Jeep, where kids of all sizes can take three days to celebrate one of the most notable off-road vehicles in the world. This year's event was held in the very scenic Blue Ridge Mountains on the Oak Ridge Estate, just outside of Charlottesville, Virginia. It's an annual gathering that brings together Jeep owners and drivers from all over the United States, indeed all over the world, to get together, swap stories about their vehicles, take them off-road, experience trails, learn how to go off-road, and entertain their families in a whole host of ways for three fun-filled days. And the days are certainly full. The event is loaded with activities that embrace the symbol of Jeep. Since Jeep is all about adventure, it seems like rock climbing would be an obvious activity. And from my experience on the rock climbing, while it's a lot harder than it looks, okay. but for those who are even more daring, try climbing the Camp Jeep Adventure Tower. There's also scuba diving, skateboarding, and motocross just to satiate your appetite for excitement. The activities that are here are endless, and I think every year we add more and more. But what you really can't forget is why campers come here in the first place, to celebrate their Jeeps. There are those very specific to Jeep, like off-road trails where you can take your vehicle and challenge yourself in, in uh, successive levels of difficulty and learn more about off-roading in your Jeep. There are various types of trails to choose from depending on your level of expertise with off-roading. You can opt for the basics with Jeep 101, a challenging trail ride, or if you want to feel like you're in the movie Tomb Raider, Jeep has set up a course to experience the new Wrangler Rubicon, which is similar to the one used in the film. And we have one of several vehicles that were used in that movie right here in this display. And this vehicle is a Wrangler Rubicon that has been modified, especially with appearance items and then special additional off-road capability items. But with all the fun comes some learning. Jeep owners will have the opportunity to ask questions and find out about their own vehicles. If you're interested in Jeep vehicles, you can talk to our engineers. And our engineers at Jeep are interested in talking to owners. So we have a series of engineering roundtables where our owners can go and learn more about their Wranglers or Cherokees or Grand Cherokees or Liberties. And we have the opportunity to ask them about what they're doing with them and what they'd like us to do. And what many of the attendants are doing is making their Jeep their own. Many of the vehicles have been modified and personalized. But you're going to see many Jeeps, Wranglers and Grand Cherokees and the older Cherokees especially that have been modified for off-road use and personalized in many ways with everything from personalized license plates to names for the vehicles, interesting paint jobs, and other accessories that owners have added after they purchased the vehicle. We encourage that. You'd think that the three days of Jeeps would be enough fun, but the real climax of the event was the Jeep Jubilee concert, which featured popular bands. So if you're a Jeep owner and want to go to camp, wait for your invitation and get ready to hit the trails. Great.